that back there. is perfect. It's a low tide. Uh, low tide is typically the easiest time for us to find the terrapins. <laughs> Good. Oh my god, Dave Grohl, is that you? <laughs> Shut up. Look how much of a morning person Taylor is. <laughs> Alright, good morning everyone. Uh, so, this morning, Taylor, Toby, and I get up bright and early and we are headed out to the coast to go look for uh, these really cute little animals one of my favorites they're called ornate diamondback terrapins and they're these uh, relatively small turtles that live in the coastal areas of Florida uh, so but first we are actually going to do a snake relocation call uh, a friend of ours got in touch with somebody that had a eastern diamondback rattlesnake uh, on their property in a neighborhood in an area that it can be close to people dogs so we are going to go out there we're going to pick up the snake because we're licensed to transport venomous snakes here in the state of florida and we are going to move it far away from people and hopefully uh, all will go smoothly so it's going to be a day full of diamondbacks and stick around <laughs> Damn, you're so awake Boy, so like to tell the difference between the boy and the girl is typically so the male their hemi teens are there, so the female tail is about one third shorter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and somebody called you to come get him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, yeah. 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 Would you like in a, he was at the edge of the pool cage, and was capturing her. Yeah. Oh, you said something. You got blue lines in the fire lines. Yeah, he's just scared. Like, so if we gave him an outlet, they're actually spraying venom on my leg. Oh, yeah, he dumped the bunch on my spot. Yeah. Sometimes when they strike, when they really mean it, they put enough pressure that a little bit sprays out. Yeah, yeah. And you can actually see it yeah. on my leg. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Chew, it doesn't go through it. Can you guys hear that? Can you hear that back there? So, um, we ended up getting the rattlesnake. It looks great. The, guy, the people that had found the rattlesnake, actually, their neighbors found it, called them over because um, they were really interested in making sure nobody killed it, which is fantastic. Uh, they actually retired, it's an old couple, they retired from Bush Gardens. Um, and the wife worked in the herpetology department. So pretty cool, we've got the Eastern Diamondback uh, boxed up and now we're gonna go take it somewhere away from everybody and let them go. Boxed up the snake. We took him 
way away from where he was, uh, way away from people. We're now going to hike him back into the woods, find a nice spot for him, uh, and release him. Yeah, so this should be cool. I'm going to change my boots. Come on, Tim. So uh, we've hiked pretty far away from the main road. Uh, we've made it in. We've kind of hit as far as we can make it on foot reasonably. It's all flooded past here. It seems like the uplands and more higher, drier habitat is this way. And like we just found this beautiful little spring here. Uh, there's a stream that runs along it. Uh, and it seems like this area looks pretty good for eastern diamondbacks. Um, so, ready to let them go, Tay? Yeah. You want to do the honors? Sure. All right. Be careful. located the rattlesnake and now we made it out to the coast and we're going to look for some terrapins. The tide is perfect, it's a low tide. Uh, low tide is typically the easiest time for us to find the terrapins uh, because the areas that they can hide in are limited uh, as in the mangroves that typically hide in the areas are dry. Uh, so we're going to go out to some islands, hunt those for terrapins and uh, see what else we can find.
All right, push off the front. You should be one of those people in Italy that paddle the boats around. Captains. We got it. It gets deep around that corner, remember? Ready? Go! It's a little lower than we're used to. You see it's uh, it's really low tide, making it hard to get back in here. But a lot of the pockets are still pretty deep. And these areas are great. <laughs> oh my gosh, the mud flats. I will go and out check it out in a second. Okay, I saw one pop his head up. Got him. Sweet. Woo! Cool. First one. Oh, he's little. He's little. Let me wash him off. Ah, oh, check this out, guys. All right, so we finally got one. Oh. Hey, he's in a mucky spot. Right, I'm distracted. Oh, hey, buddy. Let's get him on, buddy. Look how angry he is. You want to get up close to his mouth? He's good. All right, so here is an ornate terrapin. Uh, this is what we've been looking for. We paddle out into uh, the little tidal streams. And the terrapins often seem to hang out in the tucked out areas, waiting for the tide to come in. So they tuck down in the grass. And as we go around, we're just looking for the little heads popping up. And we see a head pop up, we jump out, we start feeling down the grass. Sometimes they'll just tuck down. Other times they'll start scooting around through the grass and it makes it hard to find them. Um, but that's how we usually find the juveniles and sub-adults. So, cool, cool, cool. Really excited we got one. Really cool animals. I really think they have the prettiest plasterns. Cool thing about terrapins, uh, they've got these, don't bite me, hey, they've got these big head muscles and they use that for crushing up different types of crustaceans, uh, mollusks, and all kinds of little sea animals. So these guys, as far as I know, they're mostly um, carnivorous to omnivorous species. Good dog. Hey, these are feetis. These are feetis. Kisses? Give me kisses. That's being a bitch, so we gotta go. He just attacked my leg. Alright, take your shirt off. Trying to get us out this mud flat because you. Oh shit, I stepped on something hard. I thought it was another crab. Yeah, this is a really muddy flat. Huh? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. This looks great. Yeah, we'll have to find us. Ah, these are a little too muddy. Toby, come here. Look at me. Nice. Oh, let's go. Go, where'd you go? Look at little baby. Heck yeah. Look at him. We're gonna get let this cute little turtle go. Even though they're out here in the saltwater areas, uh, the brackish and saltwater, they're not a sea turtle. Uh, they are a terrapin, not sea turtle. <laughs> Toby, you smell. Look how dirty Toby is. All right, little turtle, we're gonna let you go. Come here. Come here. You see baby? Come. Oh, yeah. It's a young one. I this year's baby, last year's baby. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh.
<laughs> what it looks like to go terrapinning. Onward, Captain. Stop f drinking, let's go! Oh, oh Toby yelled at it! I told you I saw something. Toby yelled at the birdie. Oh my god, he's so right? dirty. Toby, don't grab him. You got him. You're the crab. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a <sighs> bitch. Drop him from my leg again. Let's no. just go. Don't make Toby I'm grab so him. I'm so tired of getting pinched. Don't make Toby grab him. <sighs> I thought she found another terrapin. It's a little baby horseshoe. Oh, is he alive? Yeah. Oh. So cool. So buddy. It just stuck. I love the pouting sad face. Toby, what are you doing? Toby, come on. Dude, I can't. I can't get out. Of course, Rex didn't have his camera when I was catching him. But look, I found another turtle. And I'm still sinking in the f***ing mud. <laughs> He's so cute. Good catch. Isn't he so cool? <laughs> Good find. Thank you. Three terrapins today. Now let's go home and shower. Okay. Just yeah. let him go. Yeah. Oh, look at him! Oh, he won't do this. Stop licking turtles. Give them back to me. Hey, that looks like one out there. Oh my god, his forehead. What? My forehead. Look at my terrapins right now. There's a big terrapin out there.